So I'm Nicholas Casimir here with John Grayson here outside the, like, I guess, what stop is this? College. College, okay. So can we talk about this new project that you've begun in conjunction with the TTC? Sure, Sharon Switzer and Patterson One Stop gave over space, in this case, 40 slots, 40 uh, 30 second slots, which are gonna play out over the course of January and February. And it's given to a murder mystery, so you get an episode a day for two months. So the films are in black and white, at least the ones that I've seen so far, and they seem to have a trans theme. In fact, the detective is trans, and the, and the, and the victim, perhaps, is it, they're not quite sure at first if it's male or female. So was that very conscious? Did you want to sort of tackle on this issue of transphobia? There were a lot of public trans uh, murders that had really grabbed all our attention over the past decade. Um, there was one in the States, a trans woman uh, killed by her John, run over by an SUV ten times. Horrible, horrible deaths involving that combination of trans and transit issues, transgender and transit issues, public transit issues. So right from the start I knew I wanted to do something about bikes and something about transgender and the story evolved from there. There's a million people taking public transit every day in Toronto and we wanted to create a narrative where it was very an entertainment experience for them. And like most murder mysteries, it touches on social issues. There's, most murder mysteries use the genre to explore touchy, difficult social issues, often around uh, issues of sexuality or gender. So it became a really perfect medium to explore in that way. I guess people can see this every what? Every 10 minutes on the subway? So it goes through till March 1st. Then uh, please do go to murderandpassing.com, mm -hmm. which is our website where you can not only catch the episodes you've missed, but enter a contest, identify the murderer in advance of our detective played by Alexander Chapman, and win prizes. Given that we're extra, could we have an exclusive clue? There, I'm going to give you two clues. One's, one's an obvious one. Uh, which is watch the hand signals. Mm -hmm. When you watch the episodes, you'll know what I mean. And the second one is the, um, check out, let, there's, there's a lot of gender stuff. Check out the girl's hair clip. Are you a little worried that you might get some people thinking, ah, oh, trans bullshit? Like, you know, negative reaction to these very complex issues? This is Toronto. There, there's a hu and within the million people who take the TTC, there's a lot of homophobes. Just as there's a lot of friends of trans people, there's a lot of trans people. It was really exciting to make something that spoke to our Toronto community. The using a fictional town, passing BC, but speaking to our Toronto community about the world we live in, and especially this downtown world where queers and trans people are a really big part of our dialogue here. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, it's been a pleasure. As always, okay. thank you.